The Radio Master Boxer remains to be what I think is the perfect radio for me, and I actually think is probably the perfect radio for most people. Since receiving it, it has been close to perfect, and about the only things that I've done to this radio is A, upgrade the gimbals to the AGO1s just to give a bit more of a premium feel, and I also installed the Radio Master Sticky 360Ns just to give it a bit more grip as well. There is, though, one other mod that I want to do to this radio, and that is install the Radio Master gimbal LED rings. If you don't know what these are, they're little rings with LEDs that go around the gimbals that illuminate the radio, giving you a bit more bling, but also just making it a little bit easier to use at night as well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing those rings on this radio, and then at the end, I'm going to show you what they look like. Now, when I received my Radio Master Boxer, it was only actually available in the black plastic shell that you see here. However, today there is now a new transparent version of the Boxer available, and if you couple that with the LED rings, it gives an even more striking effect as well. And it also allows you to do some really nice things like colour the shell internally yourself, giving you lots of other effects. And whilst these LED rings do a nice job on the black shells, I'm going to be looking forward to also seeing what people do with them on the clear clear shells as we see those radios move out into the public as well. Today though, as I've said, we're going to concentrate on the black shell, so let's get on with it. Okay, so these gimbal rings are designed to be used with the Radio Master radios with the larger gimbals, i.e. the V4 or the AGO1s. That means you can use them on the likes of the TX16 or the Boxer. Now, they are available in two colours. We have a blue and a white, and these ones here were sent to me by Radio Master. They didn't actually ask me to make a video on them. They just sent them over because they knew I wanted a set, but I've decided to put a video together showing you installing them on the Boxer. But again, just be clear that I did receive these for free. Now, if we take a closer look at them, if we open up the blue ones, what you'll find inside is we get the little LED rings themselves, which are PCBs, round PCBs with LEDs on, and then we get two plastic sort of spacers that go around the gimbals as well with some screws as well. You do need to be very careful with the screws on these, making sure you have the right length ones because it would be possible to damage the shell on your radio if you were to get it wrong. If we just open up the packet we will then see the LED rings themselves there we go you can see that they come with LEDs all around the sides and they actually come pre-wired with a plug-in connector on board and that just makes installation nice and easy on the radio because there's a connector on the board ready for them to plug in and then we've just got the plastic spacers which is going to diffuse the light on the gimbal and you can see that there. And again, we'll take a closer look at these as we install it in the radio. Now, the Boxer is one of the easier radios to take apart from Radio Master simply because the back shell comes completely clear from the front. So what we're going to do is spin it over. We're going to lift off the back cover for the bay. We're going to then go in the back, remove the battery because we're not going to need that. And then we're going to pop open these covers on either side. These nice and easily pop off. There we go. And then we simply need to undo some of the screws. So we've got some screws down here at the bottom, here at the top. So it's those two and those two, and then we can withdraw the back shell. Once the screws are undone, you can then easily lift up. There is a sticker at the bottom, which is like the little warranty sticker, but you just give that a tug and that'll break free and then that reveals the inside of the radio. Now, the process to install the LED rings on these is very similar to the process to install the gimbals. We need to undo the four screws, withdraw the gimbal out the way, and then put the plastic in place, put the ring in place, and replace it. If you have installed the gimbals already, it's a fairly straightforward process, but the first thing we're going to need to do is undo that screw there, that one there, that one there, and then that one there to release the gimbal on this side. There, once we've got all the screws out, I'm gently just going to lift that cable there from the module to the side and carefully withdraw my gimbal. I'm not going to actually unplug it. I'm simply going to move it to the side and then that frees up the space where the gimbal was. Next, we're going to mount our PCB to our spacer ring. Now, this is only going to go one way and it looks to be here that you place it in. So there's a notch down here that allows it to pass that plastic standoff and it's the same up there and then it pushes in around like that and then if I flip it over you can see you've got the LEDs pointing down which is going to illuminate the ring that way and then it fits in place like that. 
Then on the radio, we simply place this where the gimbal was before. So what we're gonna do is just pop that in. It will only actually go in one way. The way to notice that is when you look at this, there's notches on those little standoffs there and there, and that goes to the inside, the middle of the radio. And then once you've got it in place, you simply give it a push and then it's there ready. Now it is worth noting at this point that these plastic spacers are going to add a standoff to the gimbal. As a result of that your gimbals are going to be lower or deeper in the radio. It is something that you're going to have as a result of installing these and I just wanted to mention it just in case it was something people didn't realise. Now the ring's in place we're going to simply refit our gimbal in Make sure it's located correctly. It's not going to lock in like it did originally because the standoffs are now going through the spacer. However, you just need to make sure that you do have it located in the right place. Now at this point I want to throw caution. Now as I've mentioned already they do include some new longer screws with these kits for the gimbals. However they are designed for the TX-16 and not the Boxer. As a result of that I have seen reports of people actually damaging their radio by installing the longer screw that they include. Just to show you the difference that is the original screw for the AG-01 and that is the new longer screw. However, this may be too long and could actually poke through the plastic in the front and cause some damage. At this point, what I'm going to do is cut these screws down a little bit to ensure that they don't cause any damage. And it's something I just wanted to highlight at this point because I have seen images of people having damage on the front of their radios as a result of using the screws that were designed for the TX-16. Now, just to show you what I've done, here is the original screw that comes with the AG-01s. That's too short to use now. We've then got the chopped down version, which is the one I've cut down. And then you've got the longer there, that is how it comes. So that's just to show you what I'm going to take them down to. And hopefully that shouldn't cause me any problems. Okay, so the four screws are in there now. And if I just hop the radio over, you can now see that the gimbal is installed. If I look at it compared to the one over the other side, you can see that this, the plastic, goes right to the metal, whereas now the gimbal is just sunk down a little bit deeper and you can just see that there is that spacer around the outside. Now, connecting this up power-wise is really simple. You've got the cable, there's a connection here, you simply plug it in. So we're just going to pop that that way around. Push him on. And the installation really is as simple as that. So what we're going to do next is exactly the same for this side over here. Remove the gimbal, cut down the screws, install the spacer, install the LED ring, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so from the back, everything's installed. We've got the four screws in on each gimbal. We've got the wires connected, and I've just popped it down there out of the way just so it doesn't get caught on anything. And if I spin it over, you can now see on each side we've got the gimbals. We've then got the rings around the side. So what we'll do is get the radio back together, and then we'll take a look at how it looks. Okay, now at this point I just come up against a bit of a snag installing the back cover and what it seems is on mine these little notches on the AGO ones that stick up on the plastic on either side of the bearing holder is catching on the back of the shell here on either side there and there. It's these little sort of U-shaped clamps. Now I didn't want to trim them off the gimbals because I didn't really want to do anything to the gimbal itself. But what I have done is just taken a knife and basically taken the corner a bit off the plastics there 
and taken the corner a bit off the plastics there, shaved it down and the back cover now fits absolutely fine. So if you do have trouble getting the back cover on the radio, let me just get it in the right place, and what you find is this wobble in either side, it'll be catching here and here. I'll put a bit of B-roll up so you can see exactly what was catching now, and that is what you'd need to remove on the back cover. Personally, I'd remove it from the back cover rather than the gimbals. I wouldn't touch the gimbals themselves, and all I've done, as I've just shown, is trimmed it in there, and that way it's able to clear. Okay, so it's time to test it. Let's power it on. Oh, look at that. There we go. Welcome to HTX. Acro mode on. Oh man, that just looks fantastic. The way it reflects off these CNC gimbals is just so good because you have those cut edges all around the side. Oh man, I love it. Absolutely love it. I knew this was going to be an upgrade that I'd want, but now I've seen it with the blue. Yeah, man, that just looks fantastic. Fantastic! It really, really does. And to give you a proper look, here it is in all its glory. Now, these LEDs honestly do look fantastic. I love the way the light reflects off the cuts on the AG-01 gimbals, and it really does just set it off. Now I'm going to finish this with the lights down simply because I can show you this all off a little bit easier. Now these LED rings are available for $14.99 as I've said, they're available for the TX16 and the Boxer. It's the same fitment and overall it's pretty straightforward to install as you've seen. The only things you do need to be aware of on the Boxer specifically is those screws. My personal opinion is you need to cut them down. I haven't tried them but I have seen posts of issues so my recommendation is don't risk it just snip them back a little bit and you'll absolutely be fine or have a washer under them or something like that and also just be aware that if you do have a problem getting that back shell on you're going to need to trim that plastic on the back cover the little pieces that are actually catching on the gimbals aren't used for anything they're little like u-shaped grips at the top but personally i would shave it off the back of the back panel rather than the gimbal itself overall i think it's a fantastic upgrade and i'm really pleased and it's a cheap one $15. It really isn't expensive and it just adds a bit more bling. Now, if you're interested in getting a set, there will be a link to them in the description. It will be an affiliate link because Radio Master is one of the only brands that I do use affiliate links with simply because of the products are generally so good. So if you are interested in getting yourself a boxer, the LEDs or the AGO1s, there's a link there and by using that, you are also supporting the channel. I want to say a massive thank you to Radio Master for sending these over. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be putting the white ones in my TX-16 as well, although that doesn't get a lot of use. This is my main radio, and that's why I went with the blues on this one, because that was the colour I wanted. But I will do that one as well, just to make sure that I've seen it in both setups. Now, if you have found this video interesting, I'm really interested in knowing what you think. Please put your comments below. If you have any questions, put them there, and I'll try and answer them as well. Furthermore, if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not be able to make content on this channel without their support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking it out. There's also a link there to buy me a coffee as well if you don't want to support via Patreon. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. And I'll speak to you soon.